of COVID-19. Gaynor Hall following the story, joining us live from the Riverwalk with Warren. Gaynor. Hi, Pat and Micah. Lots of people are out enjoying the river walk tonight as yes, the city is taking more steps to try to curb the spread of COVID-19 in bars and restaurants. Chicago shines in the summertime. There's no question about that. It's back to normal hours this weekend for the Chicago River Walk, open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Face coverings are required, but not everyone is wearing them. It's a great day, right? It's good to try to get semi normal, but we got to be safe in doing so. The city is rolling out new COVID-19 restrictions for bars and restaurants with liquor licenses. They already had to stop serving alcohol by 11 o'clock, and now they have to close by midnight. Curbside pickup and delivery can continue later. Mike Miller is co-owner of Bottom Lounge in the West Loop. We've been following all the rules and regulations. We've been closing at 11 o'clock either way. So we've been trying our best to manage the, the, the situation. The head of the Illinois Restaurant Association calls the change reasonable. Every little bit helps and we don't want to go back into shelter in place. Businesses that don't follow the rules could face up to $10,000 in fines or in the worst cases, immediate closure. Since the beginning of June, the city has received more than 1,100 reopening complaints against businesses. 17 received citations and one was closed. We believe that by closing earlier, it prevents individuals, younger people who want to stay out, hanging out, congregating uh, late into the night from actually, um, you know, congregating. Our goal has been about keeping our residents safe. It's a lot to keep up with. Pat Fowler is a co-owner of Candlelight Chicago and Firehouse Grill in Evanston. After reopening and hiring workers back, he had to shut down Firehouse again this week because an employee started experiencing COVID-19 related symptoms and got tested. You know, hopefully it's negative, but if it's positive, you know, we're just going to have to you know, keep shutting, you know, keep shut down and, until it's safe. And it's just a roller coaster uh, of emotions for us, as you can imagine. Chicago officials say they will continue with stepped up enforcement measures canvassing the city's entertainment district to make sure that businesses are following the rules. Reporting live tonight.